Hafa day and hello everybody, I'm Jason Salas from KUM Digital. Thank you so much for watching the initial episode, the very first one of KUM Brains and Brews. It's our brand new weekly trivia show coming right here from the wonderful Cowboy Ninja in Upper Tumon. We thank you so much for joining us tonight. We have two teams that have been really, really chomping at the bit to exhibit their trivia savvy. We have our friends from Team KUM right here, gentlemen hey. and ladies. Hi. Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause, everybody. I understand it. Uh, Mr. Andy Wheeler from yes. I-94FM has been elected the spokesperson for Team KUM. So, uh, Andy, who have you got on your roster today? Uh, okay, well, we'll start in the back. That's Anna Vuki the back there. She's on our digital team. Uh, we've got Larry, who runs the books, makes sure everything at KUM, make sure we get our paychecks. We've got Mateo from sales. We've got Adriana from news and myself from radio. Okay. Trust me when I tell you, the 1927 New York Yankees have nothing on these guys when it comes to trivia. Talk about murderers' roles. This is going to be really good. But they are being met by a very, very formidable opponent. Good evening, Dee, and your colleagues at Team Docomo. Thanks. Good evening. Okay. Who have you got on your team? Um, okay. I'm Dee. We have Nate, our chief people officer. We have Larry, representing the enterprise business unit as EBP. We have Tito from uh, EBU as well, and then Willis from Build Ops. Very nice. So, Team Docomo, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so prior to the beginning of our episode, we actually had a coin toss, very, very scientific process, and Team Docomo won. I tried to catch the quarter, it missed me, and that's why I'm up here instead of playing, because my coordination is just that good. So, Dee, you have the honor. So, your categories that you can choose from are the 1960s, also biology. Also, Kardashians. You may also choose celebrity couples, or the NFL, or 80s pop. Okay. The honor is yours. Can we have 30 seconds? Huh? Can we have 30 seconds? Thir sure, okay, we're, we're exercising the rules. 30 seconds to confirm. <laughs> See, can you tell these guys are in telecommunications engineering? Everything's about numbers. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We'll take celebrity Are we couples. ready? Okay, celebrity couples. Celebrity couples, all right. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> celebrity couples, you're up. Celebrity couples, all right. Okay, so the way this format is going to work, it's really, really fun, really interactive. If you, if you guys are watching right now or streaming us online, by all means, play at home, whether you're on a mobile device, if you're watching on a desktop, laptop, whatever, add your answers into the comments. Let's all have some fun. Okay, so you have 30 seconds for each. Both teams will go head to head with this. We have five questions. Per category, this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, Team Docomo and Team KUM. First question. Justin Bieber is married to this model whose father is Steven and uncles are Alec and Billy. Who is this person? Once again, Justin Bieber is married to this model whose father is Steven and uncles are Alec and Billy. Technically, we have 25 seconds. Don't let Docomo hear you. And I believe there's a slight iPad savvy advantage to Docomo at this point. Can I get a drink? <laughs> Ten seconds to go. The tension is thick here on Tumon Bay. Okay, time. Okay, Team Docomo, you get to go first. The answer to who is Justin Bieber betrothed to? Our answer, do I answer here? Please. Our answer is Haley Baldwin. Haley Baldwin is correct. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Coming right out of the gate. Team Docomo, not messing around. All right, Team KUM, who have you got? We also answered Haley Baldwin, but way before they did. Oh. Okay. Okay, and, and, and as I can see from that wonderful penmanship, yes. they also wrote it in kanji. That's, that's very, very nice. nice. Hey, no one's taking the score, okay? Okay, so the score is... Team Docomo won. Team KUM won. What? Woo! Neck and neck already. So staying. Good job, team. Staying with the celebrity couples category. You guys are going to like this one. Jennifer Lopez, or if you're one of the cool kids, J-Lo. She is engaged to this former New York Yankee, who also has a two-syllable nickname. Who is this gentleman? Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Sorry, I 
I didn't. Okay, <laughs> now I, I, must, I must tell I must tell you, Team Docomo, because you're in the telecommunications business. The minutes are not rollover. <laughs> you only have 30 seconds per question. Okay, you can either put the person's nickname or their formal name. And I guess uh, to make up time, we'll go ahead and man. No mess, ten, no messing around here. Ten seconds. We've been new. <laughs> Okay, Team KUM, what have you got for J Lowe's, the man who stole her heart? We have A Rod. Very A, A Rod is correct. Alex Rodriguez. Boo Yankees, by the way. Uh oh. We'll talk about sorry, that later. Sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, D, what have you guys got? We also have um, A Rod, Alexander Rodriguez. Okay, we'll uh, have to go to the name, judge uh, for that. Is it, uh, uh, judge, is it Alexander Rodriguez? <laughs> I believe his God-given name is Alex Rodriguez, but will we accept Alexander Rodriguez? Well, we put, we put A-Rod. No, they will no, not accept will Alexander Rodriguez. We have our first moment. Okay, we have our first moment of content. <laughs> I put a, I put, we put A-Rod. Keep in mind, KUM, we'll do a story on you about <laughs> We care about accuracy at KUM. Okay, judge, is Ale Alexander Rodriguez A-Rod? Is that acceptable? Tie. Okay, so the score is now 2-2. Two to two. Well done, team. Where do you work? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so we are really going at it now. We stay for our third question in the celebrity couples category. Celebrities that have gotten together over the years, and this couple actually is not together anymore. So which celebrity, in announcing her divorce to singer Chris Martin, used the term consciously uncoupling? Which celebrity, when she announced her divorce to singer Chris Martin, used the term consciously uncoupling? Have fun running that by your lawyer. <laughs> For those of you who may know the answer at home, I will remind you spelling does count. And this one can be a little tricky. Okay, Team Docomo, your answer, please. Um, okay, our answer is Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow is correct. Show it. You have to show it on the tablet, D. You have to show it. There you go. Yes. There you go. Okay, the spirit of Steve Jobs is alive and well. Gwyneth Paltrow. Very nice. Mr. Also Wheeler. Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay, and Andy is just showing off that he used a thicker marker font. So... Brownie points. Well, very nicely done. Okay, and the score right now is all tied up three to three. Good job, teams. All right. <laughs> Question number four. <laughs> Former model and social media influencer Chrissy Teigen is married to this R&B oh crooner. God. Come on. Who is this gentleman? Chrissy Teigen is a former model and social media. Why is she a former model? Does she not model anymore? She's cooking. No, okay. <laughs> the gentleman married to Chrissy Teigen. Sexiest man alive, 2019. I did not know that. Thank you, Nate. Tell your buddies. Okay. <laughs> That's what you should Google. Okay. 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 Time. Okay, I saw uh, the lovely Anna Vuki from Team KUM really knew this answer right off the bat. And Andy, your answer is? John Legend. There, exactly. We are all just ordinary people. John Legend, very nice. Did you not know that? Uh, no, I, I, no, I honestly didn't care. Okay, so, <laughs> D. Team Docomo also got John Legend. Team Docomo also got John Legend. Okay, the competition is fast. Too easy. It's fast and furious. Come on, Larry. Okay, so to close out our celebrity couples category and could possibly put one team ahead and give them a slight advantage, are you ready for your fifth and final question? Ready. Who is the American actress that married Prince Harry? We're getting international with this one. Who is the American actress that married... Oh. <laughs> Okay, and Larry Armamento from Team KUM. And that is why we don't give microphones to accountants. Larry was just so excited to contribute. Yeah. <laughs> I know a thing. Larry, they heard you in Talifofo. That's good. 
Okay, so decidedly more discreet is Team Docomo, and Team Docomo, you can go first. Time. Your time is up. She was okay. still writing. No, uh, I was writing. I was writing an extra heart. Okay. So our answer is Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle is correct. Okay. There you go. Our judge has to sign off on it. I hope our judge is not far-sighted because her royal highness. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, very, very nice. You you included her credentials. That's right. We Andy. also have Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. Very very good. So after one round Larry of play. Said. Here in the very first episode of KUM Brains and Brews, the score is Team KUM 5, Team Docomo 5. Please do not go anywhere because when we come back, Team KUM is picking a category and the competition is only going to get more heated. So please stay tuned. We're back after this. Hey, once again, everybody, and welcome back to Tumon Bay. We are at Cowboy Ninja, where the first episode of KUM's brand new weekly trivia contest, Brains and Brews, is back, and the competition once again is heated. Team Docomo has five points. Team KUM has five points. Three things always happen on Wednesday nights. Amway meetings, Bible studies, and now trivia contests. And we're glad to have you along for the ride, as because Team KUM did not win the very first um, coin toss. It is their honor now to pick the category and ladies and gentlemen we have remaining you can pick the 1960s biology kardashians the nfl or 80s pop 80s pop culture not 80s soda 80s pop jason we're gonna go with biology no, really okay because they're a bunch of tech nerds so okay i hope everybody picked up on that with the score completely tied up at five. Andy calling out Team Docomo saying they're a bunch of tech nerds, so he's trying to, well, you realize technology is science, right? Mm. Shh. Okay. Thank you, Jason. We have, This is either going to work really, really well or blow up in Team K. Williams' face. We have, we have a question on this side. Go is it biology home. or biology? Biology. <laughs> biology. I, I, I don't believe they are our sponsor yet, but we will gladly endorse them. <laughs> So, uh, Champy, give me a call. We'll work that out. All right. Biology. Are you ready for your first question? No. And uh, <laughs> what is a single piece of coiled DNA known as? A single piece of coiled DNA. Larry from our accounting department immediately knew. A single piece of coiled DNA. Now, remember, even Dogomo's in hell right now because they cannot use their phones. The only time these wonderful employees of the telecommunications giant have not been without mobile devices. So what is a single piece of coiled DNA known as? No, this is not no. What's your answer? Time is up. Mr. Wheeler. You showed, you showed some uh, strategy, you showed some tactics, and now if you can show your answer, please. <laughs> we, we couldn't agree on this one, so we'll go with Strand. Strand, I'm sorry, is incorrect. <laughs> what did they play? There, there are chemical, biological engineers. Look, see, I told you I was going to get it wrong. <laughs> what, a, what a weird way to go. Okay, D. All right, this one was really easy for us. Um, the answer <laughs> is... ATP. And ATP stand. You even wrote <laughs> ATP, the definition, and it is. Did I spell it right? Adenosine triphosphate? Adenosine triphosphate. Is that correct? Will we accept that as an answer? The judge, that is. Yes, please. Yes. That is incorrect. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So nobody got this right. And just for the edification of everybody, including you playing at home alone, a single piece of coiled DNA is a chromosome. Oh! oh you had that. Tito. Shoot. Now, yes. D, that, is, that is the difference between, fundamentally, that's the difference between you and I. You are XX, I am XY. That's gotcha. the thing that makes us different. Gotcha. Also, you also, you're an incredibly successful business person, and, you know, I'm, you know. Oh, my God, Making whatever. rent. Okay. Okay, hopefully the second question will uh, prove more fruitful because this may have something to do with fruit. 
Question number two, what is the study of plants called? What is the study of plants called relative to biology? For those of you who went to UOG, we have a very thriving and a very growing, get it, plants growing? Is this right? A growing department. Mateo, how's that beer doing, man? It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, time. Miss Dolores, on behalf of. No, did no we, it didn't. Did we answer first last time? No, you answered no. second okay. last time. Okay, so we are going to go with botany. Botany is correct. Woo! Thumbs up. One point for Docomo. Andy, can you match? Botany. Botany. Wow. Very, very nice. <laughs> Just for your kids at home, that's why they call it a botanical garden. Yeah, see? Yeah, hey, see? You learn a thing or two here. We all do. All right. Question number three. Animals that eat both plants and other animals are called what? If you're an animal, and we all, God, I would hope so, and you eat both plants and other animals, you are called what? <laughs> Team KUM seems very, very self-assured, very yes. confident. We know what we're doing, Jason. Uh, you guys had all the answers. We shall see. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to time pull off time is up. Andy, what have you guys got? If you eat both plants and other animals, you yeah. are a... Omnivore. Omnivore Ooh. is correct. <laughs> Team Docomo. We have omnivore as well. Omnivore, all right. <laughs> They're raptors. All right. Question number four. What is the name of the tube that carries blood to the heart? There is a tube that carries blood to the heart. What is that called? Now, what you guys don't see is actually when Dee is taking notes, she writes down like four or five answers and then erases the other four. Very strategic. Mm -hmm. Team KUM, time is <laughs> literally escaping okay, you. Okay, 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 okay. What is the name of the tube that carries blood to the heart? So we're talking about a little bit of biology, a little bit of anatomy, it would seem. And D, your answer is? Docomo's answer is vain. Docomo's answer is vain, and Docomo is correct. Woo now, with the score being 7 to 8, KUM finds themselves down. Andy, you have a chance to tie. Your answer is? Artery. Uh, ooh. Oh. And Docomo has taken a commanding one-point lead. <laughs> now I can see I can see where you went with that. It could be an artery, it could be a capillary, it could be a vein, it could be, you know, read a book. A conduit. No, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Our fifth and final question for the biology category. Nervous in this. I'm understanding it's already trending on Twitter. It's hashtag, why the hell did you pick that, Andy? <laughs> Fifth question. What is the name of the process by which green plants use sunlight to make food from carbon dioxide and water? Anyone with a 10th grade education should be able to get this. What is the name of the process by which green plants use sunlight to make food from CO2 and H2O? Both teams seem very, very confident. <clears throat> Time. Time. Okay, it seems like the, mar the marketing people are having a lot more Time's fun than, than the engineers. Oh. <laughs> the engineers are like, oh, well, let's, let's do some math. Right? It's our secret weapon. Secret weapon, okay. Uh, Andy, you have a chance to reclaim your pride, your manhood, your glory. Our answer is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is absolutely correct. Photosynthesis. And by the way, if you use that when you're playing words with friends, you would have just won the entire board. That was a great word. Dee, they had got photosynthesis correct. Did you? Okay. Yep. 
Judge, will we allow photosynthesis to be written on two separate lines? Hey, He's got very big handwriting. There's, not there, there, there's a hyphen. It's a which... hyphen. <laughs> we okay. managed to fit it all in one is, line. It's I'm good. Just okay. Saying. Sherelle is an angel of mercy. She's a very fair judge. All right. So the score after two rounds of play, Team Docomo is up by the score of nine. Team KUM has eight. Will KUM come back? The third and definitive round is ahead. So please don't go anywhere. We are a Cowboy Ninja, and this is KUM Brains and Brawn. Round three, the definitive round, KUM finds itself down by one point by a score of eight to nine by a very, very game. Team Docomo, we had a celebrity guest come up, one of our members of our, our, our studio audience came up and actually picked the final question because he got our question on our Instagram story. We asked who is the majority whip in the 35th Guam legislature and Bill correctly answered, Senator Amanda Shelton. So Bill got himself a prize and we thank Bill for his participation. So he picked the category that will now determine what could possibly be a tide turning event for Team KUM because Bill actually works, as we have found, for Docomo. So Docomo was like, okay, this is in the back. And Bill picked NFL. I happen to know that Mr. Wheeler knows a thing or two about professional football. Just three things. Yeah, you I know you, three you, things. Born and raised in New Hampshire. About the, I know three things about the NFL, that's it. Okay. Very, very good. Okay, so we are doing NFL for our final question. All right. Woo! Everybody ready? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, question number one, round three. Yeah, Nate. What do Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, and Jimmy Garoppolo all have in common? This is multiple choice. Either A, they're all in the same team, B, they are all in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, C, they are all NFL quarterbacks. Once again, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, and Jimmy Garoppolo. What do all of these gentlemen do that they all have in common? They're all on the same team, they're all in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, or they are all quarterbacks. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Both teams seem unbelievably confident in their response. That means this is either going to work really, really well or be tremendously disastrous. But, Time. Andy, and the answer is, of course, C. They are C. NFL quarterbacks. They are all NFL quarterbacks, and each one of them is pretty damn good, too. Okay, D, your answer is C minus. No, it's a C dot. Okay, C, C dot <laughs> is. I wouldn't it's accept that answer. They work if in I were telecommunications, you. they're writing everything in binary. I guess that, that works. You know. Hexadecimal answers are completely appropriate. All right, very good. So the score is now KUM 9, Docomo 10. Woo! Docomo Woo! maintains its lead. Okay. <laughs> this next question about the NFL may be a little tricky. You guys got to know your geography. What are the three NFL teams for New York State? The Empire State has three professional teams. What are they? <laughs> D is wiping her hands of this faster than anything. <laughs> so Nate is taking over. Three teams oh, we finished are, first. In, we finished first. are in New York. I was done a while ago. I was just writing, <laughs> I was just writing down my groceries. Oh, room. the trash <laughs> talk starts. <laughs> we could go back to the biology topic if you like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back no. <laughs> Okay, time, and Andy, uh, your, your responses, please. Yes, we have the Jets, the Giants, and the Bills. Very, and, and that's, Andy, unfortunately, does not get extra points for making it geographic because he's doing, like, the New York team, the New Jersey team, and then the upstate New York team, but nicely done. Okay, Nate is not the designated spokesperson, but he could not wait to do this. So, Nate, what do you have? Uh, we have the Jets the Bills and the Giants. Very good. Yeah. Both teams yeah. are correct. <laughs> KUM now in double digits with 10 points, but Docomo has 11. Woo. Well done, Docomo. Okay, another 
topic about pro football, and uh, you have to know your numbers for this one. How many Super Bowls have Coach Bill Belichick and Tom Brady competed in together? The New England Patriots have been pretty, pretty good over the last 20 years. So how many times have Bill Belichick and Tom Brady gone to the Super Bowl together? Andy's sitting here, it's like too easy. No, let's go Team KUAM, okay? It's not about me. This is bigger than an individual. Time, okay, what? What I hope you didn't, Dee, if you can please hold up your iPad, you actually had one number and then you changed it to another number, one lower. It's my fault. Shit. What did you have originally? Originally, we had nine, mm -hmm. and then we changed it to eight. Uh, you had the right answer, but I'm oh! sorry you changed it. Damn it. Oh! Ooh. Hey, you. Oh, no. You're not on the team. Andy, would you, would you like to share some of the honors of being able to say oh, your no. wonderful answers with your teammates, or do you want to claim all the glory for yourself? No, 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 I got this, I got this. Oh, the tide is turning! Nine times Tom Brady and Bill Belichick no one cares. have been to the big show. No one cares. Of about course, the their record is six and three. We don't need to bring that stuff. Okay, Sorry, Andy, how many teams have they, how many times have they lost? We don't need to worry about that stuff. Okay, okay Jason. My apologies. It's not part of the game. So the score is now KUAM 11. Tied. Docomo 11. Docomo with a rare, rare slip up. Make some, give us some noise, people. Let them know. The tension in the air here at Cowboy Ninja is as spicy as those wings that they, which are really, really good, by the way. Thank you guys for those wings. They're really good. No tension okay. over here, Jason. Uh, okay, maybe that's just me. All right, question number four. CBS, which is on KOM TV 11, you watch it every week and we thank you for that. They've got a pretty good sports commentator. He goes by the name of Tony Romo. He was previously a pro NFL quarterback. For what team did he play for? Tony Romo was under center for what team? The Washington Redskins. Tony Romo. <laughs> He's actually quite good on the mic. He was actually pretty good under center, too. But for whom did he play? Because at KWM, we do not end our sentences with prepositions. At least I don't. <laughs> Team KWM. Don't worry about Okay, Larry, can you, can, you, can you say aloud what you just said? We got it. Okay. Very, very confident. Andy, what do you have? Where did Tony Romo hang his hat before? We have the correct answer, Jason. That's what we have. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, I, and I just want to say we would have given you an extra point if you had written it in cowboy blue, but you know we'll just give you the one point. Okay. As a Patriots so, fan, I can't do that. KUM has 12 points. D. We also have the correct answer, Andy. Which Ooh. Is the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, cool! They're stealing Ooh. my answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, come up with your own material, God. <laughs> okay, I, I, th I thought the trash was just getting taken out on Mondays here on Guam, but man, it extends all the way to the middle of the week. All right. So the score is 12 to 12. Could this be the final question that breaks the, breaks the score and breaks my train of thought, apparently, or could we actually go to our sudden death round? We shall see. All right, final question. What team... Does the wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. currently play for? Odell Beckham Jr. is a fantastically talented wide receiver. He's got a contract with one particular team. Team KUM with 12 points. Team Docomo with 12 points. All my children. All my children, relax. This could be it. It's all on the line here. All the marbles. Okay, Andy. Yes. Your okay, do you guys all want to say your, your, it's the final question, so can you guys all say your answer together? I'll say one, two, three, and you say what you wrote. One, two, three. Browns. 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 Alpha Brown, they got it right. Yeah. And that means that KUM has 13 points. Boom. <laughs> Do 
do I even need to say it? Okay, D, I've known you for many years. I admire Show you. the answer! <laughs> Show the answer! I have always admired your decision making, your intellect, your sense of style. What the hell happened? We, we declined to answer. You wrote down Browns, you wiped it off, and you wrote, if you won't, then I will. See, it's, it's, not it's not okay. working. Okay. And she wrote screensaver. No, she wrote Steelers. Ooh. If you saw what happened between the Steelers and Browns just a few days ago, I'm sure they would not appreciate that. Who the hell pays attention to the Browns? Free Miles Garrett, by the way. Okay. So she said, okay, D did not know that the Browns were a team. All right. I am just a spokesperson. Okay. But you know what, I mean, no, the, the brown team, they, they have really good earth tones and everything. They're, they're fabulous. Okay. So that means Team KUM, after tying everything up for a round and a half and then being down, Team KUM has won the first episode of Brave and Brave. Thank you very, very much to Dokomo. You guys were a wonderful competitor. We look forward to seeing you uh, throughout the season as we go along. You guys, great, great job. Thank you so much. But we are not done, yeah. everybody, because when Thank we come you, back, Bill. we're going to have some really, really fun stuff. The members of Team KUM are going to compete in our lightning round, and they are going to play for prizes. So it's all about the money grab of it. Stay tuned. We're back after this. everybody, welcome back here. We are at Cowboy Ninja on lovely Tumon Bay on a fantastic night that saw KUAM in the very first Brains and Brews claim victory and to the victor go the spoils. So, you know, we want to actually give you guys the bragging rights, the swag, the pride, the dignity, but we also want to give you guys a series of prizes. So as I understand it, Andy has stepped aside very gentlemanly like and he's picked Anna Vuki to actually do our lightning round. So Anna. Okay. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> no. Okay, so the way this is going to work, right? 20 seconds on the clock. I'm going to give Anna a topic, and she's just going to say as many answers as she can. The number of right answers, right responses, correct responses you give, will give you a prize. No, for every? For every correct answer wow. is a point. Is no yeah, no penalty. Just, so just ramble. Is there a category, though? There is. I know it. Okay, Andy. Oh, okay. Andy. We can, help. can they confer? No. No, right? it's okay. It's just gotta be. It's just gotta be Anna, honor lonesome. Go team. Wait. Okay. Give her a round of applause because after that you guys gotta shut up. Okay. Are you ready? No, but I just want to say though we won. So like. Yes. Even if. <laughs> even I like. Even if I like lose, it doesn't matter. <laughs> The integrity is just seeping through right here. Okay. 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 Oh my God. Anna, your lightning round topic is Guam politics. I, hap I happen to know, I happen to know on good, because Anna is a very good personal friend of mine. She's very, very religious. She's very devout. I just said that and she was like, oh my God. So. Your topic is Guam politics. Your lightning round question. You have 20 seconds. Tell me as many members of the Guam legislature as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds. Go. Talina Nelson. Correct. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Therese Cherlahi. Correct. Uh, Regine Bisco Lee. Correct. Um, uh, is Tom Ada still there? That is incorrect. <laughs> Keep going. Um, crap, like, oh. There's so many. <laughs> um, wait. You got three, there's only two. Time is up? Time is up. Okay, Anna, you got three. There are 15 total. Three is not bad. You got a fifth of them. That's bad. That's not that bad. 
Please give her a round of applause. Sorry if you're watching. <laughs> okay, Anna. Anna, could you please look into the camera and let all these senators that you did not name know your Instagram handle? So that they I'm, can follow you and DM you and say, what's I'm up with so that? I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll vote for you, I guess. <laughs> Very nice. And you just gained new followers, hopefully 15 of them, oh my on God. social media. You know what? That's what it's all about here on Brains and Brews. We are here every single Wednesday. Please come. Please be part of our live studio audience. It is a blast. We're just getting started. Next week, we've got two more teams going to go head-to-head. -head. We'll see you then. Thanks so much.